Hey everybody, it's your old pal Mike. I hope you're happy, healthy, and safe, and welcome back to the channel for another episode of One Weird Trick, the series wherein I, your humble host with the most, give away my tips, my tricks, my trade secrets, everything that I use on a daily basis to keep my own guitars and those that I maintain in top working order. Now you know that I love offset guitars, jazz masters, jaguars, bass six, all of that good stuff. But did you know that string breakage can be a rather frustrating issue for these instruments? I hear from folks all the time whose strings are popping or snapping in the middle of a solo, or sometimes slowly unwinding and detuning as they play, eventually giving up the ghost. It's true, any guitar that utilizes the Fender style offset vibrato can be susceptible to some additional string breakage woes when compared with your Strats, your Tellys, your Les Pauls, and usually that comes down to one of a few different factors. The first major factor in string breakage on an offset guitar happens to be those pivot plate mounting screws that exist directly beneath the high and low E strings. When you actuate the vibrato, or sometimes even when you're not, those strings can be making contact with those domed screws directly beneath it. Now you'll find this being a major issue on AVRI, AOs, uh, AB65s, reissue guitars mainly, because the screws on reissue guitars are much taller and domed and more sharp than they used to be on vintage guitars where the screws were a little bit flatter on top and thus out of the way. So as you're using the vibrato, you're actually sawing through the finish wrap of the string. Oh. Oh. I wasn't expecting that. Well, okay, hey, it happened on camera. The easiest way to take care of this is to either countersink those screw holes on the vibrato mounting plate and replace them with a different screw, one with a flat top like you see on mastery vibratos, or you can do as I've done on R2 behind me and flip them over. All you need to do is take the vibrato off the body, unscrew the screws beneath the E strings, and then run them back in from the other side. I did that over a decade ago on my guitar and I've never had a problem since. It works perfectly. The second source of string breakage on offset guitars comes down to the holes through which the strings are anchored themselves. Now whether by wear and use and age or some sloppy manufacturing on the part of some unnamed party, you can find that those holes will actually have sharp edges or will develop burrs over time. And the best way to take care of that is to grab some Mitchell's abrasive cord and with a threading motion with your hands, just smooth out all of the rough edges. This is something that I've done time and time again and has saved a lot of heartache on the part of the owners of those guitars. But I have found today's one weird trick to be a foolproof safeguard against any and all string breakage woes, and that is soldering the finish wraps of your plain strings. This is something I've been doing for over a decade plus on every single set of strings that I install on my own guitars, as well as those I work on, and it works every single time. All you need to take care of this one weird trick are the following. You need your soldering iron. You need some solder. Here I've got the leaded stuff, but any will do, and your preferred set of strings. Take your plain strings, your high E, your B, your G, and either place them on your workbench secured by, say, a string cutter, or use something like this Hot Holder Pro, link in the description, to hold them securely in place. Make sure your soldering iron is good and hot and your tip is tinned and ready to go, and start heating up the finish wrap of the string. That's the bit at the end of the string next to the ball end where the string is wrapped around itself. Once the string is heated up, flow some solder onto it and remove the excess. Here I just kind of flick it off into a safe spot, but you can use a solder sucker or some soldering braid to do the job. Now you're gonna wanna let the strings cool down a little bit before you install them. Usually it takes as much time as it takes me to install the wound strings from that same set on the guitar I'm working with. I would say that maybe five minutes is plenty of time to wait, but you definitely don't want to install these strings when they're hot, they will just unravel. Now all that's left is to string as normal and be astounded by the sturdiness and stability of your newly reinforced strings. Now it should be noted that some string brands do indeed offer reinforced plain strings on their strings string sets that usually amounts to wrapping excess wire around the finish wrap, thus reinforcing it. Uh, 
I don't usually like those quite as much because, as you might have gathered, um, the screws beneath the strings, it actually increases contact with those and can lead to some unpleasant noises or performance. So those are not my favorite solutions for this issue. However, to my mind, there's only one brand on the market that's offering pre-soldered ball ends on their strings, and that is actually the Daddario XT set. This is a treated string, so they do last longer, but from the factory, these strings have pre-tinned finish wraps, making them extra dependable. So if you're both a fan of offset guitars and Daddario strings, I highly recommend this set. Which brings me to the giveaway portion of this video. Thanks to my good friends at Sweetwater, I'm going to be giving away a three pack of Daddario XT 11 to 49 strings, as well as these great Daddario maintenance kits. Thank you, Sweetwater. Thank you, Daddario. First up, we've got the instrument care kit with everything that you need to clean, condition, and detail your guitar. Cleaners, polishers, polished cloths, you name it, it's in here. But second, and perhaps even more exciting, is the Nita Strauss Hurricane Kit that has a lot of cool stuff inside, but it's actually got a glow-in-the-dark hurricane. You can't see that, but it's glow-in-the-dark, and to me, that's worth the price of admission alone. But inside the kit, we've got everything to make basic setups a breeze, including some conditioner. We've got one of those combination string cutter and winders. We've got a flashlight. We've got a tuner. We've got a multi-tool, and this is really thoughtful. We've got a 9-volt battery because you know guitar players, when we need a 9-volt, there's no chance in hell we're going to find one. So this is fantastic. I also want to say that Nita Strauss is an incredible guitarist. She does things on the guitar that I can only dream of, imagineer, but I can't perform. Um, <laughs> my God, what a player. I think it's really cool that she went to the trouble of making a kit like this for those of us who could never ascend to such great heights. So once again, a special shout out and thank you to Sweetwater, to Daddario. My God, this is a lot of stuff to hold all at once, but for making it pos- I'm gonna, I'm gonna put these down. For making it possible to give away such cool and interesting gear, uh, you know Sweetwater is the place to get music-related things. I highly encourage you to check them out. For details, including how to enter this giveaway, all of that is in the description box down below. Well, that about wraps up the video. Thank you so much for watching and coming back to the channel again and again for liking, for sharing, for commenting, for subscribing, for doing all of that great algo stuff. Who knows if it even matters, but I appreciate that you're here and doing it anyway. Well, I'm going to get on with my day, but before I do that, I want to say I hope you're taking care of yourselves and each other. I hope you're having fun with guitars, and I'll see you in the next video.